Welcome to my FL Studio tutorial on how to make instruments sound authentic or like they're really being played by people and not just some programmed robot computer thing. Which sadly FL Studio is a infamous for, for any program trackers. So right here I'll start with the drums. I mean yeah you start with good samples and everything. If you don't run them through these effects here, like a, a chorus, it's not going to sound real, so to speak. Let's see, I'll show you the difference here. If you run it through a specific type of chorus, and the only one I could find that worked well was the one in, in the hardcore the PST. Uh, if you run it through there, it will randomize the sound of the drum hits, pretty much like uh, like no two acoustic sounds in real life have the same exact sound. That should be a, uh, a given understanding. So this gives it that effect that a uh, randomized hit effect best demonstrated with these rolls here for for an uh, for an instant example. So now I'll show you what I do with the guitar. <coughs> I pretty much do the same thing with it because uh, if you don't run it through this chorus before you run it through these uh, VST amps, the distorted amps right here then it, it won't turn out right, so make sure you put the chorus before those guitar amps. And um, what it does is it also randomizes the sound of the picking, kind of like it randomizes the sound of the, the drums, the hitting of the drums, well, for the drums. Um, it does the same thing for a guitar as far as picking goes, and it takes away that robotic sound. You can hear it more in palm muting. Like so. Sounds like a skipping CD or something. Until you turn it back on. And then uh, for a tremolo, for like tremolo picking, you'll want to do the same thing. Because especially when things are being played at a faster, rapid pace, you'll definitely hear how robotic it sounds. And it's just... It's just... bad. I don't even... I don't even know how people can stand that. So you run it through this course and that's what happens. And there's also another way to do it right here where you extend the first note the whole the whole first measure. But of course that part's optional. You, you don't really have to have that part on the tremolo. And then next I'm going to show you the bass. Uh, and you'll want to do the same thing on bass as far as the chorus before the anything. The equalizer and hardcore will give it a little boost. And then I, I run it through one basic equalizer, an initial equalizer, and then two filter EQs. So that there's a low cut enough for uh, the bass drum of the drum set to come through in the mix and not sound muddy and hidden behind the bass guitar, which you want to avoid because then it would sound bad. So that was the tutorial on how to make things sound authentic in FL Studio, and I really hope this helps. 